Parts of Mexico have spectacular natural beauty, fun and relaxation. But also great poverty and need. For over 10 years, Southern Utah University has offered its students alternative spring and Christmas breaks, where they pay their own way and drive 18 hours south from Cedar City, Utah to Guaymas, Mexico to assist the needy in many ways. They can hardly be considered home, certainly not a traditional home like we're accustomed to in the United States. In past trips, Fife and his construction management students have built traditional homes of cinder block with roof trusses. Laying nice looking brick is not that easy and usually takes more than just the one week to build one house. I, a lot of people here in Mexico and Guaymas that they don't have enough money to make something security for them. And when you guys come here and do something like this, just make the difference for the people. People really appreciate the work that you are doing for them. This is a lot of fun to build and to, to serve and I mean to see how much help you can do for one person in a week's time. When Hurricane Jimena hit the Sonora coast in September of 2009, the destruction didn't make big headlines in the United States, but the wind with over 30 inches of rain destroyed homes. My house is made just of cardboard. When the hurricane came, a lot of water came in through the roof and the walls. When the hurricane hit last year, the walls fell down and the entire house was soaked. It was like a river flowing through the house. Now, a new partnership with SUU may provide even more help to those needing basic and reliable shelter and at the same time help students improve their construction management skills. We build domes. Dome Technology, based in Idaho Falls, Idaho, is an industry leader in building large concrete domes and holds multiple patents and has completed hundreds of domes around the world. Industrial domes, storage domes are principally built in port cities, a lot of ship unloading facilities, and or in power plants and cement plants. One of their projects is here at the port in Guaymas. These fertilizer storage and distribution domes are so large that they've changed the city's skyline and can be seen from miles away. <laughs> Dome Technology's project manager and superintendent in Guaymas is Daryl Cunningham. He's working with SUU to try and help people in the Guaymas area. He and Boyd Fife introduce themselves to Adela Mendoza and talk about a possible new home. They discuss the family situation and confirm land ownership. The idea of professionals helping with humanitarian housing makes sense to him. Since we travel all over the world uh, doing this work, we, we get into a lot of areas that, uh, that the standard of living is low. Um, Compared, compared to ours. When you're already mobilized into an area to do a big project, uh, so much of your cost is, is already covered as far as getting your materials, getting your equipment in place. It costs us very little to do a lot of good. The dome houses, if you go back in after a disaster and build a dome house, you're not gonna have to come back and build it again after the next disaster. They're, they're very resilient, they're very strong. So you have cost, you have speedy construction, and you have uh, durability, all, all in one package. That strength, low cost, and quick construction come through a relatively simple process. First, a foundation is poured with embedded anchors for holding down an inflatable dome shape called an airform. Once the foundation is solid, a small crew works inside the heavy fabric to place levers to seal the airform to the foundation. The airform is inflated with an inexpensive fan. The fan blows continually during the two-day process. Air pressure is measured with a tube filled with any available liquid. Then rebar are attached, accommodating door and window frames and rough electrical lines. The first and then second layer of concrete is applied, and when firm, the air form is removed and can be reused as many as 80 to 100 times. For this week's projects, the first dome house was sprayed with high pressure concrete, or shotcrete. The house shell was completed in two days. To try it with volunteer crews, the other two domes were completed by hand and a bucket brigade fills one of the foundations. The ease of working by hand with the concrete on the walls depended on the consistency of the concrete and whether it was placed on the vertical surfaces or on the more level surfaces, but the concrete homes began to take shape. 
While the last coat of concrete is drying on one home, the foundation for another can be prepared. The new domes will be quite different than the old homes. The Tariques family has five boys. We need more space because there is not enough room for everyone. My home's not finished and we cannot put addition floors above and we need a little more space for everyone. The new owners of these homes are very happy and when able, the owners help. It's important for me to help because it's my own house and it's been a great experience. I like to build and to see how it's built. With all the metal and concrete, it's a special experience to see it. Our friends are very happy for us that the Lord has blessed us with something like this and we are very happy. Dome Technologies Cunningham likes working with the students. They've made a sacrifice to be here. It's, it's costing them and it's costing them money, it's costing them time and they want to see something for that effort. And Cunningham gets in there with them. It's just the way I was taught by my father and the way I've always been. Uh, and in Dome Technology, our superintendents are working superintendents. They, they get out there, they teach their, their men what they want to do, they lead their men. And they set a great example for the construction management students to follow when they're in leadership positions. The dome shape is quite different for some people. It's created quite a sensation with our neighbors and everyone. My neighbors want to come and look at it and help us build it and see how it's constructed. So it's drawing a lot of attention. I have never seen something like it, but I have been truly touched to have this new home that is being built. It is something really beautiful. It is different and beautiful. I think it's a great partnership because Dome Technology has the resources to build the houses. They have the technology and the knowledge, the experience to build them. Um, but what these students and what the university is doing is providing the labor to do it. Dome Technology could build these houses, but we would have to leave our project and bring our crew to do them. It works out great for both of us. They have the labor and, and, and we have the resources and the equipment and the tools and, and the technology. So it's, it's a good marriage. The real exciting thing about this, of course, is the knowledge that the students are gaining. But right close to that is the opportunity that not just one family, but, but three families have received uh, homes this, this time down, which is really unprecedented. I think it's just a rich and rewarding experience that the students are able to enjoy. It was an excellent spring break. Uh, it's probably one of the best experiences of my life so far, I'd say. Of course, we can't help everyone, but uh, the people that we do help, it, it changes their lives. I never thought in all my life I'd receive such a gift. Normally we just do one house, you know, per trip down to Glamis, and this, this time we've done four houses. Three of them have been domes, and we've done the one traditional house, so, I mean, We've affected four families instead of just one with the same amount of same amount of people. So for that reason, I think it's a great idea. If you're a student, we invite you to expand your service experiences and join in the humanitarian effort. There will still be plenty of traditional construction, but building the domes offers additional experience. If you're a contractor or construction supplier, donated doors and windows of any size can be placed in these domes. But sometimes getting these materials across the border can be difficult. So cash donations are the most helpful because purchasing materials such as concrete, rebar, and electrical and plumbing supplies in Mexico helps the local craftsmen and standardizes the homes to a metric system. Southern Utah University, in partnership with Dome Technology, needs your help to continue this work of helping students help others, bringing about a brighter world.